about 31, I had a question coming out of section 6.6, .6, number 77. And here we were given this pretty fun looking equation to calculate the magnitude of an earthquake. And, and they said here that capital E, that, that numerator in, that, in the argument for the logarithm, it's the amount of energy released by an earthquake. And it looks like the units are joules. And then this E sub zero, right, that, that I would say it's the denominator in the argument of your logarithm. This is the minimal um, amount of energy that's released by an earthquake or the assigned minimal measure they're saying. So there, then we get asked, hey, what would the magnitude be if you found out the earthquake that just happened released that many joules of energy? So I can see that this is matching up. We've got joules here, joules here. So this has got to be my E value, right? And it also, it's saying that it's energy, right? And this is energy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take that 1.4 times 10 to the 13th, and I'll plug it in for the numerator. And I'll take this E sub zero, and I'll plug it in for the denominator. And then I'll get my M value back out, and that will be my magnitude. So that's what I'm doing. I'm plugging those numbers in. You can see me plugging in. 1.4 times 10 to the 13th on the numerator, 10 to the 4.4 on the denominator. I crunch all that on my calculator. I hit the log button and multiply it by two thirds. And when it comes to um, earthquakes, we usually go one decimal point. So the magnitude of this earthquake is about 5.8 on the Richter scale. All right, thanks so much everyone, bye.